Hi, Kenzie. Hi, good morning. Hey, 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 good morning. How are you? Good. Sorry to keep you waiting. No, it's all good. You know, what's so, it, what's so funny is that I'm so busy on my end as well with my little baby, my little, our little infant. Yeah. I'm changing diapers over here every two Oh, man. <laughs> yeah, so you couldn't have messaged me at a better time. I'm like, oh, thank God. I okay, good, good. Finally. I'm glad. glad yeah, I've been changing diapers all morning. <laughs> well, yes, it's crazy. Stay the same. <laughs> <laughs> right like oh my you guys don't have any right no no oh my yet. gosh yeah I don't well I mean obviously it's a beautiful thing but once you have like multiple it, it, it gets a little crazy like we just we just had our second little one so mm -hmm. oh my gosh man one little one is crazy but then two little ones are is like not even twice as crazy it's more like a hundred times crazier <laughs> that's, that's what I hear I mean like, oh my we gosh. want three but that's gonna be a while <laughs> Yes. Oh my gosh. Take your time. Have a dog. Get a dog. Get three dogs. Oh, we have two of them. So we're, yeah. We're, <laughs> oh my gosh. We have a, a one and a half year old German shepherd who awesome. runs our house. <laughs> right. And I see you're out there in Colorado, man. That's one state I've always wanted to go to. Right. Yeah. Just because I love the outdoors. Like I love greenery. Like I love the outdoors. Mm -hmm. I, can, I can only imagine. How long you been out there? Um, I moved out here, September will, will be the start of three years. Right on. So you, did you come from North Carolina? Um, yeah, I did. I, um, I grew up there. I moved to Florida mm -hmm. um, on a whim and mm -hmm. met a bunch of people um, and then um, met my boyfriend awesome. um, a couple years ago and like three months later, he, he lived out here. He's been out here for like six or seven years mm. and um, he flew out to Asheville and drove all my stuff out to Colorado. <laughs> he said, you're coming with me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right on. Well, thank you so much for taking the time. I just wanted to reach out, introduce myself and, and just really see if I can bring some value to what you're doing here on social media to build your real estate business. Okay. Do you want, yeah. do, I, do you need my video on? If not, I don't even <laughs> see your video. I just hear your voice. You should see, maybe you see your video, but I just have I screen oh. share. Okay, I'm gonna turn my video off. Yeah, I'm just in I'm just in screen share, so I can just hear you, and just see my screen. Okay, perfect. Yeah. So, what do you oh. got going on? Are you Are you full time, part time? What do you What are you doing? So I'm a full time real estate agent. Awesome. Are you Are you doing any marketing online or social media or what do you got going on? Um, that's what I'm trying to do. I just closed my first sale. Um, it happened Congrats. so fast. Thank you. It happened so fast. Um, it was just friends of mine that live in Denver who are nice. moving up here and, um, it, it went, it literally was just like a blink of an eye and then it just happened. Um, and it was a terrible experience because <laughs> <laughs> it was, it was, because I started out, I started out doing a uh, front desk answering phones when I did, um, kind of the behind the scenes work for a year doing mm -hmm. transaction coordinating. So mm -hmm. I was shuffling papers. Um, so gotcha. I, I knew how to do all the transaction stuff. I just wasn't out there doing the deals myself. So um, it was just a very stressful experience. Right? <laughs> the sellers, uh, they like, they, the home was supposed to come furnished. Anyways, they like took, took things. So now we're, we're, the deal's closed and we're still dealing with stuff. <laughs> Wow. That, and you know, what's so crazy is that because before I started helping real estate agents with, with all this stuff, which was in 2016, mm -hmm. six years prior, I spent in the mortgage industry. Okay. So I was a lender helping all real, helping real estate agents get their clients approved for, for deals like this. So I spent six years as a lender and it was all that craziness, man, that drove me out. Oh yeah, it definitely is the lender. Like, Right, drove like, me out. <laughs> I just, I just, yeah. I mean, having to be on the mortgage side and deal with all the financing and making sure that, right. yeah, it's like it's a whole other ball game. And I just, I just didn't like it. I spent six years full time here in San Diego, and I just, at the end of six years, I was like, dude, I'm out. But, but it was in that six year period when I kind of built a passion for wanting to help real estate agents because I knew that most of them were not leveraging social media. Right. So as a lender, I'm, you know, doing deals with different, different realtors across the country. They're coming to our bank to get their client approved. And I just knew because I had a marketing background, I knew that the majority of them were, were just missing the boat. And I'm like, man, and any agent that I was coming across, they were still spending a ton of money offline. Mm -hmm. So either, either an agent's not going to spend anything for advertising or marketing, 
or if they are, they're spending it offline on a billboard, on a bus bench, on a magazine article, on direct mail, maybe buying leads from Zillow. Like all that stuff was offline and all that stuff was expensive. And so in 2016, I'm like, man, I'm gonna start helping everyone. And so since then, I've just been, I've consulted, you know, thousands of agents on social media marketing and Facebook advertising. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of all I do now, but, but that, that all started in 2016 and over here on my personal page, can you see my personal page? Yeah. Okay. These 5,000 friends that I have, Kenzie, mm -hmm. every single one of them, and it's a public list, so you can go look at all of them. Every single one of them, except for one, which is my wife, this, this one right here, Melina, that's my wife. She's the mm -hmm. only one out of 5,000 who's not a real estate agent. So in 2016, I started requesting nothing but agents. And so now today, mm -hmm. let's just call it 5,000. I have 5,000. So <clears throat> that started in 2016. But in 2018, I started realizing and I started seeing patterns. I started seeing how everyone was posting and promoting their business. Mm -hmm. And so when you're following thousands of people that all have the same interest, you start to see patterns. And when you follow thousands of people that literally all have the same job, you really start to see what everyone's doing and everyone's doing the same thing. So it was in 2018 when I wrote a book about this. Um, it's the social real estate agent .com, And this book just covers five basic steps to capture more leads and build your personal brand fast. And it's five steps that I knew agents were missing. And that's the reason why they weren't building a social media brand and why they weren't capturing leads on mm -hmm. social media, five basic steps. And that's kind of what I share, share now because the way you and I got here is you clicked invite to like your business page. That's what I call step two. Mm -hmm. So out of these five basic steps, I'm here to tell you, I have 5,000 agents every single one of them clicks invite. So you're not the only one clicking invite to get your friends to like your business page. Every agent does that. And so I, 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 I knew and I, quick, I quickly saw that that was a problem and there was, there was a better way. There was right. a better way. And that's what I call step two. Okay. So what I can cover here with you real quick is just, is just these five basic steps. And once I, once I show you these five steps and, and they're very simple, they're very basic, they're very simple, but it, but all five of them have to do with your branding and lead capture, local lead capture, because although you could probably close a deal anywhere, I'm assuming that, that, that your ideal client is right there in either Keystone or right there in Denver or somewhere in your local area. Am mm -hmm. I, can, can we kind right. of bet on that? Yeah. Right? And so the, Mm -hmm. The thing about social media is that as we start to take this friend list up, whether it's LinkedIn, whether it's Instagram, whether it's Pinterest, Twitter, it doesn't matter. Whether it's YouTube and you're building a YouTube you know, channel, whatever, it doesn't matter. Facebook, as you take this friend list up on any of these platforms, as you take the 687 to 1600, mm -hmm. as you take the 1600 to 4200, and the only reason why you would do that is because you're building a business. Like mm -hmm. you're, you're, you're logically thinking that you need as much exposure as possible, which is obviously correct, but that's the only reason why you would take that number up is because we're building a business. If you were not building a business, you'd be fine with the 200 friends you, you know. Right. Right. But because we're building a business, we got to scale that number up. But here's the, here, here's the reality. Here's what I'm getting at is as you scale that number up, the majority of these people aren't going to know you. Mm -hmm. Like, just like, I don't know you. Right. right. You don't know me. I don't know you. And now we're friends on Facebook. Right. As that number goes to 1600, the majority of those people will be the same. They don't know Kenzie at all. Mm -hmm. So here's the deal. When it comes to social media, our brand, our, our business, that, that comes first. That's why we're here. Obviously to connect with good people, obviously to stay in touch with our family. Yes. But the majority of this whole entire purpose is because Kenzie's building a business and I need, I need buyers and sellers. And right. so here's, here's what's going on. And here's what I call step one. And, and again, I have 5,000 friends, 99.99% miss these basic steps. And I just truly believe they're super important to your brand and to lead capture. But mm -hmm. here, here's as basic as it gets. Here's step one. As I have all these 5,000 friends and I've had thousands of friends since 2016, I'll unfriend a few, I'll friend more, and I'll always keep it at 5,000. It's always 5,000 agents. As I see 
and come to everyone's personal page. As I see and go to their business page, this is step one. I come to Kenzie's page and this is what I see in the intro. And again, this is for people that don't know you because the reality is, again, the majority of those people, the majority of our friend list, whether we're meeting them online, like you and I, we're meeting virtually, we don't know each other, mm -hmm. or whether you met me at the local grocery store down the street, but I never met you before, right? How many times has that happened? Like right. you and your boyfriend will go out to grab some food. You'll run into people that you've never seen before. You never even met before. Uh -huh. You'll go to the grocery store. You'll meet people that you never met before. And because you're a real estate agent, it's in your DNA now, or well, I hope it's in your DNA now, to network wherever the heck you're at, to have a business card on you wherever you're at, to let people know what you do wherever you're at. Right. Right. Now, now let's say that happened. Let's say, let's say my wife and I, we were, we were down at, 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 a, at a restaurant right there in town and we were having lunch and we were sitting next to you and, your, you and your boyfriend, you guys were having lunch and we were just kind of shooting the shit and we were just, you know, you were doing your thing. I, we were doing our thing, but for, for some reason we just, you know, cross paths. Mm -hmm. You're going to bring up what you do. You'll eventually, you won't might, you, you're not going to pitch me right there, but right. after you break the ice. And we, you know, hey, kind of talk, you know, maybe have a beer or whatever. And, and we're talking about what we do. You're going to bring up what you do. Now, again, I'm, I never met you. What's going to happen is you're going to most likely connect with me on Facebook. You're going to say, hey, David, and by the way, I do real estate. Here's my business card. And if you're on Facebook, let's become friends. Mm -hmm. That's what's going to happen. Again, you're meeting someone virtually like you and I are today, or you're meeting someone locally. Either way, we don't know each other. Here's the first step. So as we connect on Facebook, because it's going to be here before we ever go to your business page. That's why this page is more important than the business page. The business page is only important if you're running Facebook ads. If you're not running Facebook ads, you don't even need a business page. All the magic happens here first. So as I come okay. here, I can uh, uh, right away see pictures and I could be like, oh, cool chick, Jake. family woman, no. you know, friendly. I can, I can look at images alone and, and automatically mm -hmm. assume that you're a cool person. But because you're building a business, there's information here, right here that you're not showing. And this is super okay. crucial. This is super crucial. That's why I call it step one. So here's the reality. Here's what's going on. I come across Kenzie's page. I meet her for the first time. I come across, we're friends. And in the intro, this is what she's showing me. I come across Candy's page. I don't know Candy no more mm -hmm. than I know Kenzie. But I come across Candy's page, and this is what she's showing me. Right okay. away, she's showing me a link to her business page. Okay. And then as I scroll down, yeah. she's showing yeah. me her Instagram, her Twitter, her Pinterest, her okay. LinkedIn, her website address. Again, I don't know Candy no more than I know Kenzie. For all I know, Kenzie, 15 years in the business, top producer. Candy just got licensed, haven't even closed her first deal. I don't know. I don't know either one. But Candy is just right. showing me a little bit more, which gives her much more credibility and much more social proof. I'm going to come here and think that she's a veteran. All because she has everything listed. She's right. showing me everything and she's exposing her business. But if you look closely, yeah, everything is listed. And if you look a little closer, which you don't even have to look that close, everything is matching. Okay. So she's on mm -hmm. social media and she has all of her handles under one single name, which is very easy to the eye. It allows her to give off one name and one name only to her audience. So wherever you type in hedge properties on social media, you're going to find her. But at the same time, okay. all you got to do is click on the link and automatically it takes you to her Instagram page. You click on the link and automatically it takes you to her LinkedIn Right. So this is what I call basic step one. Like this is basic step one, just like offline, your branding is everything. Your, your headshot on that business card, your headshot on a decal. If you have it on the side door of your car, whatever mm -hmm. your, your picture, your headshot on your for sale sign, offline branding is everything. Your face better be on everything, mm -hmm. but then on social media, these links better be listed and to take it up mm -hmm. a step further, match them all. Okay. Yeah. Basic, right? Basic, but does that stand out or not? Yeah, it definitely does. Right? Big time, like major difference, right? So here's what's, here, here's, here's, here's another thing. 
it's what I see right away. So that's why this is so important because it's the first impression. And sometimes you only have one second. Our attention span on social media is so freaking short, it's not even funny. So you better <laughs> grab my attention fast, right? You better grab my attention mm-hmm. fast because mm-hmm. I may not even come to your page. I may not even come back to your page, right? So, so uh-huh. that's what shows in the intro right away the moment I land here. But if I okay. click about, because I want to know about Kenzie, I see February 13th, and that's all I see. Mm-hmm. If I come to Candy's page and I click about, I see Twitter, Pinterest, LinkedIn, Instagram, her website. And all, again, all of them are clickable links. Okay. That's step one. That's what I call step one. And once you get everything listed on your personal page, then you're going to come over here to the business page in the about section of her business page. If you just scroll down, click on about, and then just scroll down just a bit, you'll see everything listed here. Let me refresh this. Oh, here we go. So if I, if I, if I click about and just scroll down just a bit, this is where you want everything listed as well. So the same social media links would all be right here. So hedge properties, hedge properties, hedge properties, hedge properties, everything's one name, super simple and super basic. And I'm telling you, everyone misses it. Mm -hmm. That's social media branding. And so what's your, let me pull up your business page. What's your business page? Um, I (laughs) can't. See, if you don't know it, no one knows it, right? I get that yeah. all the time. People are like, damn, what is it? <laughs> it's got my name in it. <laughs> see, right? And see, so that's my point. We have to have it listed. The moment they come to the page, it better be right there at the top. Right. Because if we don't remember shit, no one's going to remember and no one's going to be there until you click invite. No one's going to know you have it until you click invite. I didn't know you had a business page until you clicked invite. Right. You know what I mean? So yeah. let me see if I can, if I can pull it up this way right here, right? Yeah. Perfect. Okay, cool. So here, here's, here's the page right here in the about section. This is where your social links go as well. So right here, right where it says about, or actually right here where it says more info, you have the, the, the Remax link. Mm-hmm. But again, again, what Candy did is she simply customized her link to match all of her platforms. So she got the mm-hmm. dot com to match all the platforms. And when you click on it, then it can go to your Remax site. Mm -hmm. But don't list this Remax link. No one cares about that link. I want to brand Kenzie. Is it, is it Carte? Carte. Carte. I want to brand Mm -hmm. Kenzie Carte realtor.com or whatever the heck you're branding. You know what I mean? Right. Like list that.com. And when people click on that.com, then it goes to your Remax site. Okay. So that should be there. But then also more info, I should see Instagram, LinkedIn, Pinterest, Twitter, and, and that's it. It's, it's really just those top five. And here's the deal. These are the top five, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest, and LinkedIn. Mm-hmm. YouTube is, is, is a monster as well, but YouTube is only if you're, if you're putting up video every day. If you're not doing video, then YouTube's not going to be your platform. But mm-hmm. as long as we have up these five, now here's the deal though. It's not about Kenzie all of a sudden being this social media butterfly and posting on every damn platform every two minutes. It's not about that Mm -hmm. at all. All it's about is having them active, having them listed, and making sure that all of them are matching. It just makes your brand stand out because the reality is, is that just because you and I connected on Facebook, how do you know that I don't spend 77 hours a day on Instagram? Right. Right. You don't know that. Mm-hmm. But what you do know now is that there's billions of people on these specific platforms. That's what you do know now. So if I land here, it's, it's highly likely that one of these platforms will be my favorite. I'll click on it and follow you there. Mm-hmm. And because that's my favorite, I'm comfortable messaging over there. So if I message you over there on Instagram, for example, you better hope you get that message, especially if it's about buying or selling residential real estate. Right. Right. So it's not having all these up because you're going to be a social media professional. It's all about having them up so people can follow you on their favorite platform, message you on their favorite platform, not necessarily yours. Right. Which could be, I can assume Facebook, just like it's mine. Facebook's my, you know, where I'm at all the most, but I don't know. Kenzie's not on LinkedIn. For all I know, Kenzie's probably on LinkedIn all damn day. So I better have mine listed in case she wants to message me there. Right. Right. 
So, so that's what I call step one, Kenzie. That's basic. Okay. That's step one. Get all those links listed on the personal and the about section on the business page. And Here's, how exactly do I do that? <laughs> I have a I have a video I have a YouTube channel that I'm building so I have a ton of videos but I have a video on that I'll mess I'll email it to you once we're done. Okay. Great. Super basic. It's like a 20 minute video but once you watch it because I walk you through everything. Once you watch it you'll be able to link your lit links like in two minutes. Okay. So yeah I'll, I'll I'll send you that video for sure. Here's step two. Okay. Now now again, you're not the only one clicking invite right? As you follow thousands of people that are all in the same profession. Thousands of people all do the same thing. So at this point, Kenzie, like hear me loud and clear on this one. I'm telling you, I've been doing this since 2016, right? Uh -huh. At this point, I've literally helped hundreds of agents. Like you can go to my business page and read a ton of reviews. I have a ton of reviews on my business page alone, all real estate agents. But at this point, I've helped hundreds of agents since 2016. I've literally spoken to thousands of them. Like you can't help everyone, right? You're always going to speak to more people than you can possibly help. But I've spoken to thousands. And at this point, since 2016, I've looked at tens of thousands of business pages when it comes to real estate agents in our country alone. Tens mm -hmm. of thousands of them. 99% of you guys have 200 to 300 likes. So just like on the personal page, the intro is the first impression. What I see here or what I do not see here is what I see right away. When I come to the business page, it's this like count that I see right away. So I'm telling you, 99% of you guys are at that low like count. So that means that the market, the consumer market, people out there, homeowners, people looking to just buy and sell, people that have no idea about real estate, but they live in a home or they want to buy a home, your potential clients. I'm telling you right now that every single one of them if they've ever looked at a real estate agent's business page, that's what they're used to seeing, a couple hundred. Mm -hmm. that, that's the first impression. From a consumer's perspective, from any perspective, that's the first impression, the couple hundred. I come across Candy's page, I see 268. I come across Candy's page, here's her business page over here. I come across Candy's page and I see 3,500. I don't know Candy, I don't know Kenzie. Mm -hmm. Right away, she has my attention. Right away, I'm thinking Candy is the queen of real estate. For all right. I know, she just got started. For all I know, she hasn't even closed her first escrow. Mm -hmm. I don't know that, right? Like I'm thinking she's 25 years in the business, 3,500 people following her. This chick must be crushing it. Right. That's what I'm just thinking just, just naturally. That right there is step two. So when people come to this page, you don't necessarily need 3,500 because what I'm telling you is all you guys have a couple hundred. So you don't necessarily need to take it that high, but you do need to take it up a little higher and put a comma. That 268 should be 1,200. Right. Bottom line. And that's a Facebook ad. So you, you're not going to be able to click your way invite that high at all. You're not even, you're, you won't even hit 400 by spending the next few months clicking invite. You have to run a Facebook ad. A Facebook ad would take that 268 to 1200 literally in the next few days. Mm -hmm. That's what has to happen next. That's, that's, that's step two. That's what I call the fir your first Facebook ad is step two. Um, taking that like count up a little higher just so when people land here, they're like, dang, Kenzie must be, she must be a veteran. She must have been doing this for a while. Let me follow her. Let me see what she's doing. Mm -hmm. Right? So right. That's, that's super, super important. Now, here's step three. Okay, here's step three, four, and five, and then that's all I got for you. Here's step three. These videos right here, mm -hmm. 100, here, here's all you need to be, here's all you need to be doing. And I cannot stress this enough. This stuff really gives me a headache because I just, I'm so freaking confident about what this, what, what this is all about. Here's the deal. Every agent is putting videos up everywhere, whether it's LinkedIn, whether it's they're on their Instagram story, whatever. But as mm -hmm. I get, as I keep telling you, 99% of these people that follow us don't even live in the area. Now, although you can help anyone relocate, I get it. You can help anyone relocate, but our ideal client is somewhere in our backyard. But mm -hmm. when we post on social media, the majority of people that see it don't even live in our backyard. Right. So that's why when we post something, it gets very few views or any, or very few engagement at all, because the most of the people that are seeing it are just not in the area. Mm -hmm. So here's all you need to be doing. 
rather than thinking you have to post all the time on all these platforms, let's look at this one real quick. This is a listing, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Here's all you need to be doing. Here's the only strategy, Kenzie. Here's the only strategy for social media and for marketing. Here's how you can absolutely crush it. I want you thinking one video per week. Okay. One mm -hmm. video per week. This is step three. Okay. One video per week. And that video is going to be ran as a Facebook ad targeting that area. Okay. One per week. Okay. Now you're not always going to have a listing every week. You're not always going to have an open house every week. So when you don't have a listing, when you don't have an open house, every week you're going to run a Facebook ad on giving away a buyer guide or a seller guide. But the strategy step three is what, what I'm really saying is the strategy is a weekly ad, is a weekly post, one post mm -hmm. per week, but rather than just posting it for 41 people who live across the country and don't care to see it, rather than think we have to post all the time for those bozos, it's posting once per week so we can run it as an ad. Mm -hmm. So we could target that local area. If we did that, we would have had 4,100 views and those 4,100 views would have been targeted people that live in that area. So this is an open house. Step three. Step four, because it's an ad, there would have been a call to action button down here. It would have said learn more. I would have clicked on learn more because it's an ad. And when I click on learn more, here's step four. Step three is the weekly ad. That week you had a listing. That week you had an open house. But if you didn't, it would have been an ad on a seller guide, giving away a seller guide or giving away a buyer guide. That would have been the weekly ad if you didn't have an open house video or a listing video. But since you do have an open house video, this is what, we would, what you would run as the weekly ad. That's step three. As people click on it, they come to this one page, which is what I call a landing page. This is step four. So they come here. This is a person that lives in that area who's clicking on the video coming to this one page, open house, Saturday and Sunday, one to four, address, click button below to RSVP. A few bullet points, they click the button, and you just captured a lead. This is what I call step four, the landing page. Once that person enters their name and email, your email autoresponder, which is what I call step five, that email autoresponder automatically emails them while you're sleeping, emails them, Hey, Dave, thank you so much. This is Kenzie. Thank you for inquiring on our open house coming up this weekend. Let me tell you a little bit about it, about it and what to expect. That's an automated email that would have went out. And by the way, Dave, if you'd like to schedule a private showing now, I know so many people are, are wanting to look at this property. Click the link below. It'll take you straight to my calendar where you can schedule a time. Can't wait to talk to you. Tomorrow, <laughs> another email goes out. This is step five. Another email goes out tomorrow. Hey, Dave, just wanted to follow up. This is Kenzie. Hey, we're super fired up. This open house is going to be off the hook. So many people have RSVP'd. Let me tell you a little, little bit more about the property before you come this weekend. And by the way, Dave, if you'd like to schedule a showing now, click the button below. It'll take you straight to my calendar where you can schedule your best time. Can't wait to talk to you. So whether it's a listing, this is for an open house. Mm -hmm. But if that, if that was a listing, if, if we weren't promoting an open house this weekend and it was just a video on a listing, they click on learn more, they come to this one page, mm -hmm. get instant access to the price and photos of this property. Homes in this market move extremely fast. Schedule your private showing before the bidding war begins. A few bullet points, they come down here, view all 17 photos now, they opt in, and it's the same exact thing. Step three was that weekly listing ad. Step four was the landing page. Step five is now that email autoresponder. So this is a person that's now, now opting in. This is, a, this is someone that lives down the street, Kenzie. This is not mm -hmm. some random person from Nebraska commenting on your video. Hey, nice house. No, dude, this is someone that lives down the street that's actually seen your Facebook ad saying, raising their hand saying, hey, I want more info. Mm -hmm. so, so right when they enter their name and email, step five, that email goes out right away while you and your boyfriend are down out ha having dinner. That email goes out right away. Hey, Dave, just wanted to follow up. This is Kenzie. Hey, thank you so much for inquiring on 777 Plaza Boulevard. Let me tell you a little bit more about this property. In fact, I included a ton of images. I hope you enjoy them. And hey, by the way, if you'd like to schedule a private showing right away, 
click the button below. It'll take you straight to my calendar where you can schedule your best time. Can't wait to talk to you, Dave. Tomorrow, another email goes out. Hey, Dave, this is Kenzie. Just wanted to follow up. Hey, man, yesterday we had a private showing, and let me tell you, so many people showed up. This property is not going to last. Hey, if you want to schedule your showing now, click the button below. It'll take you straight to my calendar where you can schedule a call. Can't wait to talk to you. And so no matter what happens, whether it's a listing, whether it's an open house, whether we're giving away a seller guide, here's a simple page for a seller guide. So, so if we don't have an open house or if we don't have a listing, we're running a weekly ad directly to our local area, giving away a seller guide, targeting people who are interested in selling. And all we're doing is giving them something of value for free. 10 simple tips to raise the value of your home before selling. So whether it's a listing, whether it's an open house, whether it's a seller guide, they come here, they opt in, and right away, they receive an email. Hey, Dave, this is Kenzie. Thank you so much for downloading your free 2020 seller guide, 10 tips to raise the value of your home before selling. Thank you so much. Let me tell you a little bit about what's in this free PDF and what you can expect. Hey, and by the way, if you'd like to really jump on a call and, and really find out exactly how I help my clients sell in 2020, click the link below. It'll take you straight to my calendar where you can schedule your best time. Can't wait to talk to you, Dave. And every day after that, another email goes out. Hey, and let's say for tomorrow, for example, tomorrow, another email goes out. Hey, Dave, this is Kenzie. Just wanted to follow up. Hey, yesterday you downloaded my free seller guide, 10 tips to raise the value of your home before selling. Hey, do you remember on page three when I was talking about the importance of curb appeal? Here's what I meant. Hey, and by the way, Dave, if you'd like to talk or, or schedule any kind of call, I'd love to give you all my secret strategies and tips on what I tell clients before they list their home. Click the link below, take you straight to my calendar where you can schedule your best time. Can't wait to talk to you. So, so this right here, like if you really think about it, and I'll say this in closing because that's really all I have for you. Mm -hmm. It comes down to automating the entire thing. From the moment we put up that weekly video, so forget about social media, forget about posting all over the place. It's one video per week on Facebook and it's ran as a Facebook ad targeting my backyard. That's it. But as that video goes out, it's running 24 seven. So again, rather than 41 views, it'd be at 4,400 views because it runs 24 seven and thousands of people are seeing it that live next door to you. So from the moment we put up that video and you're running it as a Facebook ad, it's running automated to the moment they're coming over here, whether it's a listing, whether it's a open house, whatever, to the moment they're coming over here while you and your husband or, or your boyfriend are out playing with the dogs, this is all automated to the moment they're coming over here and entering their name and email. And those emails are going out on your behalf. All of it is automated to the right. moment. They're clicking on the link in your email to schedule a call with you. Cause they're interested in buying, they're interested in selling, or they're interested in this open house, or they're interested, interested in this listing coming up whatever, it's all automated. So you're either going to spin, spin your wheels and continue to try to physically market yourself or you're going to put a little bit of money out and start running ads that you can leverage. That's leveraging. When you can run an ad and have that thing automated, that's leveraging. That's leverage. Right. So that was a ton that was the five steps, but here's what I can say in closing. Here's where you want to start right now. I know you're probably not going to start with all five steps right away. No, no one really does, but let me kind of give you some homework. This is where you want to start. You want to start with listing all your links first. That's step one. So I have a simple video I can send you. That's step one. Um, and then step two, you want to run that like ad. This page needs to be at 1200 likes fast. That's step two. And then mm -hmm. step three, I always tell people, okay, maybe go close your next escrow or go. I mean, this is so powerful, Kenzie, and this is so, so important. I'm telling you, man, I've spoken to thousands of you guys. I see thousands of agents, what they do. I, I'm telling you, this is all, this is not theory. This is not even, you know, just my opinion on marketing. This is what you have to be doing. You have to be running Facebook ads in 2020, no matter what, like no matter what. So I always tell people, I'm like, look, go close your next escrow. And then start step three and start running weekly ads. Or I literally tell this to people, Kenzie, I say, or go get a part-time job. Like if you have to have a part-time job, if you have to have, have some type of part-time hustle, if you have to have a garage sale on, you know, every weekend, if you have to sell stuff online <clears throat> just to free up a few hundred per month for marketing, you're going to have to do it. You're going to have to. 
Mm -hmm. or you're going to just hold your breath and, and, and continue to do what you're doing. And, and maybe you'll close a couple of deals per year. But for someone that's looking to close a couple of deals per month, we have to get the attention of our local audience. And the only way to do it today at the, at the most cost effective price point is a Facebook ad. Like I'm telling right. you, your, your videos over here, that open house one, I'm telling you, if you ran that for a week in your lo targeting that local area, here's the reality on the numbers. Mm -hmm. If you ran this as a Facebook ad, because I'm telling you weekly, I'm telling you, okay, if we have a listing this week, let's run that for the week. If we have an open house coming up next weekend, we'll run that one for a week. But if we don't have either one, then every week we're running a seller guide or a buyer guide, and we're giving that away to capture leads. But either, 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 either one, let's say this, this listing right here, this open house. Mm -hmm. This number would have been at 4,100 views in a seven-day period. And all of those views would have been people that lived in that area. And that would have cost you, literally, Kenzie, I'm telling you the factual numbers here. That would have cost less than what you and your boyfriend would spend on dinner tonight. Less. If I take my wife out to dinner, and I'm not talking a fancy, fancy dinner. I'm talking about a normal dinner at some burger joint. Mm -hmm. For sure, my wife and I, for sure, we're spending at least, we're spending at least with the tip, couple beers, we're spending at least 50 bucks. Right. Right? And that's just an average dinner. Like if we go right. have steak, like I'm, I'm spending at least, at least 75 bucks. Right. Right? Like mm -hmm. on a nice steak dinner. Like let's just keep it real. That would have cost, if I would have ran that Facebook ad, let's just say 10 bucks a day. That would have been 70 bucks for the week. That would have been uh -huh. 70 bucks for, for the week. And I would have had thousands of people see this listing. And I would have had a ton of them um, come over here and give up their name and email. Right. So what I want you thinking is 70 a week. 70 a week. What is that? 28 or 280 a month. Not even, not even. Yeah. Yeah. If you think, yeah, let's say, let's call it 300 a month. So if you're oh. running an ad at 10 bucks a day and you were doing one every day, cause I'm telling you every week. So it's one ad every week. It's not a new ad every day. It's one ad every week and you're running it daily. So you're running one ad for seven days. This one right here would have been seven days. Another ad next week for seven days. That's what I'm saying. All you need to be doing is, is one video per week. That's the post. That's the ad. That's it. And so if you're spending, let's just say 10 bucks a day, you'd be at 300 a month and that's it, man. Like that's not a lot to market our business. So I'm just telling you, if you need a part-time job, if you need to do something online, you, you're going to have to, because most don't have that few hundred, right? Especially people like you, they're just starting. So I'm like, dude, you either got to close some more deals or we got to get some type of side hustle to implement what, what David's saying over here. Mm -hmm. because I'm telling you, that's how you're going to take over your local area. It's not going to happen well, by I, buying Zillow leads. Uh -huh. It's not going to happen by, by door knocking. It's not going to happen with direct right. mail. You're not going to do it with direct mail either. Right. It has to be, it has to be a video ad. It has to be an ad. And I'm just saying it, it should be video. Mm -hmm. Like it, it should be video. Um, and so that's kind of what I got for you. So have you ran an ad lately? Like at all, like recently? Um, yeah, I've ran a couple of ads. I actually ran two yesterday. Um, since I've closed, um, my first deal, I've um, obviously wanted to put, you know, some money into getting my name out there and stuff. I, I would so, shut off those ads, shut off those ads. Because again, I want you to do this like ad first, like do the like ad first and then, and then turn back on these other ads. But I'm telling you, I'm willing to bet that these other ads are not taking people to a landing page. Right. Okay. So I'm uh, okay. Let me just, explain. I hate technology <laughs> and, um, I don't know how to do most of this stuff. Like how exactly do I get to where they can click on it and it will take them to that landing page. And is that something that you can do for me or um, I, I, I can, yeah, I can. All, all it is is like, for example, this is the link right here, right? Every web page has a link. Okay. Right. So that's the link to this webpage right here. When, when uh -huh. we set up the Facebook ad, all we're doing is we're telling Facebook when people like here, here's what it looks like. So as people are scrolling through the newsfeed mm -hmm. and they're just kind of seeing what their friends are up to and seeing what everyone's posting. And then all of a sudden 
we come across a sponsored ad. Here's a sponsored ad right here. Okay. Anytime you see the word sponsored, that is a Facebook ad. So there's right. the word sponsored. There's the text. There's the video. There is the learn more button. Okay. So as we set up the Facebook ad, Facebook just wants to know, okay, when people click on learn more, which link do you want us to take them to? So all it comes down to is to answer your question, it's when it's, 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 it's the moment you're setting up the Facebook ad is when you tell them about this link. So when mm -hmm. they click on learn more, they come to this single page right here. But I mean, all that, I, I do that stuff in my sleep. Like I can help you with all that. I just don't want to jump into I, all of it right this second. Of course. I would say right. we take baby steps first and let's, let's get the links listed. Let's run this like ad. Like I can easily run that okay. ad. Like I, like all I would charge you is a good review. Like you pay for it. You pay for the ad. I'll run it for you. This is the like right. ad. And I'm, well, I, and I'm, and I've spoke with my, uh, my boyfriend about this and, and, um, we talked about buying leads and we've, you know, looked at a lot of reviews and, um, I don't want to buy leads. Um, uh -uh. come you to don't... the conclusion of that. And I, I, uh, I'd rather put it into advertising. Yes. Um, and, um, but again, I would, I get so impatient and it bugs me to death. I just would rather pay somebody to do this shit for me because it just pisses me off. And, Dude, I get it. And so I'm willing to do whatever it takes to get to where I need to be. I just personally don't want to do it myself. Here, um, here's what you, let me ask you this. How comfortable are you with video? Are you doing video at all? I'm trying. I'm, I'm trying to get awesome. more into Perfect. video. Perfect. Um, I, I did start a YouTube channel. I have one video on there, but I just haven't been. <laughs> With everything going on, um, we've moved twice in Corona. We've just, you know, everything's been craziness. Um, so I haven't really gotten the chance to do it. And I, one of my biggest things is I just, I'm like, what do I say? What do I do? See, here, here's, here's, I'm, I'm, I'm telling you, man, I, I cannot, again, I'm just super fired up about this stuff because I just know everyone, everyone thinks it's more than it needs to be. Everyone everyone is 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 trying to make it more comp complicated than it needs to be i'm telling you right. right now i'm trying to i'm i'm really dumbing it down for you it doesn't oh it doesn't seem that complicated I, Here, um to me and i i, just, I know i think i i 100% agree, agree with you i think that and i just don't know how to do that <laughs> no, yeah so here's so here's what i'm saying here's what i'm saying i'm really dumbing it down for you like not for you but just in general like i really try right, to right, dumb right. it down for you guys because here's all i'm trying to get you to see Here's all I want you to be doing. All I want you to be doing is one single video per week. That is it. That is your only job. Like that's your only job. It's not to know the Facebook ad side right now. It's not to know, okay, what do I, you know, how do I do the damn ad? None of that. If you can do one video per week, I can help you with everything else. It's right. just, and that's your only responsibility. Your only job is to put up one video a week. And, and what you talk about is, is simple. You're, you're going to focus again. If, if we have a listing that, that week, okay, great. We'll run the ad on the listing or the open house, whatever. But chances are we're not going to always have a listing or an open house. So that's mm -hmm. what I'm saying. A buyer guide or a seller guide is what you want to focus on. So you want to focus on one. Mm -hmm. So what I would say is I would say, okay, Kenzie, if our, if our, if our goal is to find more listings, then what we're going to do is we're going to do a weekly video, two to three minute video, talking about the process of selling. Okay. So we're going to start educating people on what it takes to sell. Mm -hmm. Maybe curb appeal, maybe renovating the kitchen, maybe renovating the bathroom, maybe new flooring, maybe the importance of a new roof. All this stuff that you already know, like you know this stuff like the back of your hand, you do. If I okay. sat down with you and had coffee, if I reached out to you, Kenzie, this is a real story, like a real, real, real example here. If I reached out to you and I said, Kenzie, you're my girl. My wife and I, we're, 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 we're thinking about moving. We want to sell. But I have a couple other agents that, that are, you know, obviously want my business. But you're my right-hand man. Mm -hmm. I'm going to reach. I want to sit down with you. Can we have coffee this weekend? And let's sit down. And I simply want you to go over with me what you're going to be able to do to sell my home. Mm -hmm. This is a real conversation. If you and I had coffee and sat down, you would come with your A game. You would come with all of this shit that, that, that you can do, and it's all real. Like, you tell me you could do this. You tell me you'd be able to do that. You'd tell me about your broker. You'd probably tell me about your marketing department. You'd probably tell me about all this stuff. 
that you're going to be able to do to help to, to really ensure that I sell that house because you have the knowledge. Mm -hmm. Like we're not going to sit down and you're not going to know what to say. Like we're going to sit down for coffee and you're going to know exactly what to say. Like in a real appointment, wouldn't you? Right. Right. You, you know what the hell to tell me, right? If mm -hmm. I wanted to sell my house, you know exactly the process. So all I'm trying to tell you is that that knowledge that you have needs to be broken up in two minute videos. And we need to do one per week because okay. that's education based. Once right. we start putting out videos that are educational based content, people start to listen. But right. if I put out a video, Hey, I'm Kenzie and I am the local real estate agent and I'd love to list your house. Call me today. It's like, dude, who the hell are you? And you didn't give me no value whatsoever. Right. I, well, and I always say, say that, I always think that, you know, people want something from you. People always want something. Mm -hmm. They want something from you. And that's yes. just so, so, what, do okay. you gotta, what do I need to do? So what, what you're giving them is, is value in that two minute video. But at the end of the video, there's a call to action. So this is the weekly Facebook ad campaign. This is how it's going to happen. You're going to educate that person on a handful of things in the, let's, let's, let's focus on sellers. In a two minute video, you're going to be, you're going to easily be able to tell me what, it, how important it is to maybe renovate my kitchen and why I'd want to maybe think about updating or renovating my kitchen because it's going to do this to my listing price and allow me to maybe sell it at a higher at a higher value or maybe you talk about solar and how 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 good it could be to have solar to maybe increase the value of the home when i go to sell it right. there, there's so many things that you could educate me on these are the little videos that you'll start doing and at the end of the video here's the call to action here's how you're going to start capturing leads because it's an ad and because there's going to be a learn more button mm -hmm. at the end of your video, you would say, Hey guys. And by the way, click learn more. It will take you straight to my webpage where you can download your free 2020 seller guide in this free PDF. I give you all my tips and tricks on what to do to the pro what to do to your property before you decide to list it. Click learn more. I'll see you on the next page. Mm -hmm. So at the end of every video becomes that call to action to get people to download your free seller guide. These are people that live down the street who are interested in selling, but it's not you that's going to be calling them every five minutes. Hey, John, you want to, you want to talk? No, we're not phone calling them because first of all, we're not even asking for their phone number up front. Right. What, what, what we're doing is we're automating the follow-up process. We're automating the nurturing of the leads with an email. So as I get their email, it's that email autoresponder that's going to nurture that list and get people to schedule appointments with me. So in a perfect world, I want Amy to, I mean, Amy, I saw Amy's name. I want Kenzie to be waking up every day with scheduled appointments in a perfect world. Right. So all this stuff from the Facebook ad going out to the person landing on the page, to the people receiving our emails, to the people clicking on the link in the email to go to our calendar to schedule an appointment. I want Kenzie to wake up to appointments every day. That's the, that's the overall objective of all of this because it's cool to have, have 4,000 people to watch the damn video, but if nobody's coming to my page and if nobody's scheduling an appointment, what good does that do? Right. Right. So I need people. And, and, and so that's what I'm saying. It's a weekly ad. I speak to agents and they're like, yeah, David, I boosted a post for 15 bucks back in January. Yeah. I ran a Facebook ad and I spent $5 and I did it for, for four days, but I shut it off. I'm like, dude, you didn't even give yourself a freaking chance. Right. You got to run it every week. Like it's your religion. Mm -hmm. And after we do that three, four videos down, like that whole town's going to know who you are. Right. And you, I'm, it, so, I'm so on board. I'm ready. I'm you ready. know, so, so let's do this. Let go to your, go to your business page really quick. Can you get to, are you on a computer or are you on your cell phone? I'm on my computer. Um, okay. Go to your business page really quick. All I'm going to do is just request access to the page so I can run the like ad. Let's start with the like ad first. Let's get the links listed. Let's get okay, the. Do I need to share my screen then? No, or? no, no, no. All you have to do is go to your business page. You can hit escape so you can get out of the Zoom window. And then just go to um, go to your business page. And then and then all you're gonna do is you're gonna let me know when you're on your business page. Okay. Well, I don't know that it's okay. There we go. It wasn't letting me do anything. 
All I'm going to do is I'm going to request access to your page so I can run this like ad. Let's okay. start with step one. Let's get all those links listed. Okay. Let's start with step two. Let's run this like ad. And then in the meantime, I'm going to give you some basic homework. The first video, here's your homework. The first video that I want you to put out, and you don't got to do it right now, but this is just, I just want to plant the seed. Here's the first video because you have these other videos. Here needs to be your absolute very next video. Uh -huh. And I'm telling you, Kenzie, I'm telling you, man, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I'm telling you. The fact that you're willing to do it, I'm telling you, hear me loud and clear on this one. The fact that you're willing to try a damn video puts you ahead of 99% of every agent. 99% of every agent that I've ever spoken to is camera shy. Most aren't even willing to try. Right. So the fact that you're willing to try and put yourself out there, I'm telling you, that is all. Once a well, person I tells I you, need to. I'll put it that way. I know well, I need to do yeah. these things to make and, the career that I want. And, and, and once I hear that, once I hear that, I get the chills. Because once I hear that, I know you're going to win. Once I hear that. Right. Well, I see, I, I, I've done some research. I'm reading a book right now from um, Ryan, uh, what's his name? He in Manhattan. Uh, and I mean, all say the same things. They're all saying the same things, whether it's, you know, how they interpret it. It's just what's going to work best for you. And but as far as Facebook goes, I mean, it's, it's the same, same thing. People yes. are doing the same thing to get the same responses. And here's what everyone's doing as well, though. Here's what a lot of, a lot of social media people also pitch is the fact that yes, video, 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 but what most are trying to do is put the video everywhere. And, and, and take over social media and build this huge social media presence. But as I'm telling you, 99% of the people that will eventually follow you don't live in the area. Mm -hmm. So rather than wasting my energy and putting out 50 million videos on 50 million platforms every five minutes, rather than doing that, I'm telling you, I'm, I'm just twisting this. I'm just tweaking the strategy just a little bit. And mm -hmm. I'm saying, no, Kenzie, I don't want you doing any of that stuff. I want you to put all that energy into one weekly video. And I want to run that one weekly video as a Facebook ad to target your local area. Those are the only people that need to see Kenzie are the people that live in her backyard. The hell with everybody else. So would you, are you targeting, so you're just targeting like Summit County itself, not necessarily Colorado. I'm, or, we're going to target whoever the hell you want to target. Like, but let me, let me put, put, let me, let me start here though. The like ad, that's going to go everywhere. That first ad has to go to everyone on Facebook that fits the interest of home ownership. That's how we're going to get to 1,200 in the next few days. We have to target everyone on Facebook with the like ad. After that, we go to step three, and that's when we start doing weekly ads, which we'll talk about. I have an email coming out. We'll schedule another call for that. But I'm going to give you homework on what the first video needs to be. But what I'm saying is that once we go to step three and we start running weekly ads, we are targeting whatever area you want. Okay. So, so wherever you're farming, I mean, we could target the whole city. We could target the whole state. We could target just your few zip codes, whatever. Like we could target just your backyard, like whoever the hell, but that's, that's for step three, because once we go to step three, that's when we're capturing leads. The like ad is simply to increase the like count. That's right. not lead capture at right. all. So I don't even care where those people come from. It's not that, that that's not where we're going to get leads. Okay. We just want a big number. So when we do start running local ads, mm -hmm. we have that big number. By the time we get to step three and we start running these weekly video ads and we target just that area where you're living, I want those people to see your page at 1500. Right. That's why the like ad happens first. Mm -hmm. And I, I did run, I don't know if I ran the right one, but I ran, I've, my likes have gone up, um, because I started uh, an ad yesterday. I thought I did a like ad. Turn it off. I'm telling you, you didn't run it the right way at all. I know for a fact. <laughs> Turn it off. Turn it off. Because the way I'm going to run it is we're going to be going up by literally few, a few hundred every day. Okay. So I, I know you didn't go up a few hundred. You probably didn't even go up 50 in a day. You didn't, you probably uh, didn't even go up 20 like in a day. 100. What's that? It's like 100 maybe. Yeah, shut it off. Like so you're paying way more. Posting. Okay, so just... Just like pause them or shut them yeah, off? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pause them or shut them all off. Shut them all off because we're going to go a completely different route. Okay. This like ad will be a one-time ad. It's not an ad we run every month at all. It's a one-time ad. We're going to just boost the number really fast. 
and it's okay. one time. All right. But the but the weekly ad that's when that's when we'll get back on the phone in a week or so, or whenever you're ready, just schedule a call with me. But um, right. that's when we'll go into weekly ads, and that's when we target just the local area. And that's a weekly ad. That's a monthly ad. I want you okay. thinking one per week for a month. Okay. Okay. So so I'll help you with that part too. Um, but at the same time, let's prep it. Let's let's get this ball rolling first. So okay. go to your business page and click on click on settings in the top right. Do you see settings? Yes. Okay. okay. Click on settings and then click on page rolls to the left. Say that again. Page what? Page, page rolls. rolls. Okay. Got it. Yeah. Okay. Click on that. And then if you scroll towards the middle of the page, you'll see um, inspired digital. It'll say respond to request. Oh, okay, I see. Okay. Yeah, click on that and then just follow it through and then they'll ask you for your password and and that's it. And all that's doing is giving me access to run right. to run this ad. Okay. And then all I'm going to ask for you Kenzie right now is for a review. So you better give me a good review. Oh, of course. You're you're a rock star. Thank you. <laughs> And then just tell me, just tell me whatever the budget is. Just let me know when you're in or when I have access. Um, I think you should. Yeah, you have access now. Okay, so let me add myself really quick. Um, okay, perfect. So we're good. So this is the only ad that I run from my end, only because I have everything already set. Like I'll click one button and that ad goes goes live, and I'll send you a picture of the ad. Um, right before we go live, I'll send you a, I'll email you a snapshot of it. Okay. Um, so you can see it. And all I do is I use Facebook's images. So I'll type in, I'll type in luxury homes in Colorado and mm -hmm. Facebook will pull beautiful images of, of, uh, you know, beautiful houses in that area. And I'll just use one of those as the ad. Okay. Okay. So, so you'll see that ad and then that number, that 270 will be at, I mean, it just depends on what our budget is. What's our budget, our budget. I mean, we can go five bucks a day. What, what do I need? <laughs> I mean, it just depends on how high you want to take it. Like, I don't think you need to go that, that high. I mean, I, I do want it to be, um, I want when people come to my page, obviously like, yeah, wow. She has a large number of likes. You want uh, more than candy. I mean, candy, candy did, she got to 3,500 by, and she, and, and I'm telling you, everyone has a couple hundred. She started at literally 200 mm -hmm. and we shot her to 3,500 and she put, she went at $10 a day. Oh, so well then, yeah, I, that's, I mean, $10 a day. Yeah, that's fine. Um, um, cause I, I, just these two ads that I was running, I spent 150 on, um, on those. Okay. But I so, mean, I paused, I paused them only 18 and $40 was spent. So Okay. Yeah. Pause those. Pause those. Let's do, let's do $10 a day. Well, it, it's totally up to you. I mean, $10 a day for 30 days would be a $300 budget. That would take this number to 3,500. Okay. And that's let's it. Do, um, let's do a little bit more. Let's do 400. Okay. Perfect. Yeah. That would, that would take this number to, to 4,200. Well, well for sure at that budget, we'll break 4,000. So we'd be at, right. Okay. Yeah, so let's break, let's just do 4,000. That, that's our okay. goal. We'll do 4, Perfect. Okay. Sounds good. And then check my emails, check my emails over the next, well, for sure. What I'm going to do today is I'm going to email you step one. So I'll email you that video. Um, you'll get that later on today is, is, is the actual video on how to do step one, all the links. So once you watch that, you'll be able to link everything up in a heartbeat. Okay. And I'll also email so you. So I have a question about that. Yes. <laughs> uh, don't have Twitter. Don't have LinkedIn. Um, just get those. <laughs> just set them up. You can easily just set, set them up. Because I really hate Twitter. I hate it so much. Um, yeah. Just have it. Is Kenzie, well. I'm telling you. Like, I'm telling you. Like, if you, like, I'm over here pitching social media, right? Right. You would think that I'm a social media guy. Like to tell you the truth, like you would think that I know all about it and everything. I know it from a marketing perspective, but as far as the actual damn platform, I'm going to tell you right now, I'll keep it real. I don't know one damn thing about Pinterest. I don't know one damn thing about LinkedIn. I don't know one damn thing about Twitter. Okay. I just know, I just know that the audience is there. And so I have it active. I have it listed. And so my brand looks better. I have everything matching. Okay. Right. But don't right. think you need okay. to know about these damn platforms. You don't. 
And okay, but in this uh, one other question, again, I don't really know much about technology and all this stuff. Um, I need to do I need to buy a domain name as well to, like you said, match everything. Yes, I and I and I walk you through that in the actual video. I show you how to get it for a buck. Oh, okay. So, so what I want you to do is yes, once you get that domain, register it for a dollar, and then and then and then message me and I'll and I'll forward it. So I'll link it for you where. Great. When they click on it, it goes to your Remax site. That'd be awesome. <laughs> yes, I'll do that for you. I'll okay. do that for you. Just set everything up. Um, again, I, I walk you through all that in, in a 20-minute video on my YouTube channel, which I'll, I'll send to you. Okay. So I'll email you that, and then, um, and then the first email is going to be titled Step 1. So, so once, you, once you get that email, which I'll send to you once we're done, it'll be titled Step 1. Okay. Click on that. It'll take you to my page where you put in your name and email. And then that's going to trigger email number two, which will be the video. Okay, perfect. So that video is going to walk you through step one. Okay. Okay. And then I'll, and then the third email I'm going to send you is a snapshot of of the actual ad right before we go live. So just give me whatever card I can use, either a Visa or Master or or Amex or whatever. Um, do you? Um, is it on my Facebook the one you want to use or? I'm no, gonna... that's not the one I'm going to use. The okay. only ad that I run on that I run on my end is the like ad. So I, I don't see anything on your side. Okay. Gotcha. Um, and then I'll email you a confirmation, like a receipt of the ad as well. Okay. Um, do you, here, let me grab my card number real quick. Yeah. No, no worries. Take your time. So you'll get four emails from me today. Okay. All right. One second. Okay. All right. This is, it's a visa. Yes. Okay. Um, and then, and it'll have a, uh, you said you run it on your side. I'm saying, say that again. I'm the sorry. like ad. Yes. I ran, I run the like ad on my end. Um, that's the only one because it's a one-time ad, but okay. as we go into step three and we start running weekly ads, I'm going to either teach you how to run them from your end, or I can help you run them for your, from your end. Okay, I'm just. I just want to clarify the. Who yeah. are you getting the four? I'm just. That's what I'm trying to figure out. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna email your receipt for the four hundred, okay. and okay. then and then I'm gonna run the like ad on my end. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, okay, so you'll have full confirmation for everything. Okay, all right, yeah, that's fine. Uh, the card number is four seven.